Okay. I am super excited. Um, you know, we had this amazing, amazing, amazing um, naturopathic medicine class, the first class uh, on the 7th. And it was just, oh, it was just uh, out of this world. I mean, if uh, any one of you watching in the course, I would love to hear your opinion on it as well as your comments on it. And uh, if you actually had any feedbacks on it, I would love to hear all of those things. Um, it's actually been such a, an honor um, to teach um, this class. Um, it was about, um, we taught about facial diagnosis, so how to actually look at your own face or other people's face, your family's face, celebrities' faces, uh, and uh, understand what's happening and even prevent many diseases and uh, understand what your body is trying to tell you and be able to fix those things and not just have to deal with it. And not having to go ask someone else what's happening with my body instead you trying to figure it out that was the goal of last class and it was so much fun i enjoyed teaching that class and we'll be having um not this coming saturday but the week after we'll be having the chakras class um, and chakras and health and that's what i want to talk to you about today and we have been sharing about chakras um all this week um chakra means wheel you know like the wheel so it is the circular, you know, um, or almost like a wheel inside the body. And there are seven of those in our body, seven chakras. And seven chakras um, have different roles. And um, each chakra, when it's functioning optimally, can give us health in that area. And each chakra, when it's not working optimally, can give us diseases in that area. And that's what we've been sharing about, you know, the first chakra, which is called the root chakra the kinds of diseases it can cause and uh, you know how we can actually um, see those kinds of things in that area as well um, you know many a times we think of this body as just matter and uh, it couldn't be farther from the truth uh, especially in this world um, we call this also the iron age or the kali yuga everything is about the physical nature of things the material um, it is about the external appearance um, and it's really not about what makes this body and um, of course not everybody is into that not everybody is all about physical appearance not everybody is about the external world and material world there are a lot of people who want to know what makes us us and what makes us sick what makes us healthy and that's the reason why I do these series because for those people, it really matters. For those of you, especially, who are actually listening and watching, it really matters to you. And if I can actually lead you with something that will help you get healthier, then, you know, my day is made. So chakras are energy centers in our body. And these energy centers um, kind of regulate a lot of things in our body. Pretty much all of the functions in the body is regulated by the chakras. And so in the modern world, the chakras can also be related to the endocrine glands because wherever the chakras are, that's where an important endocrine gland is also there. So which means that in the ancient systems, they actually called it chakras. And today we call it the endocrine gland in the scientific system. But they're not that very different, but still endocrine glands are physical structures. And chakras are not just physical, but they're actually energetic as well. Um, if you think about it, you know, what is the difference between someone who's alive and someone who's dead? It is the chakras. It is the energy. So a person who actually has energetic flow in their body is considered as alive. A person who doesn't have an energetic flow in their body but just a physical matter is considered as dead. It is not the energy that we make in response to what we eat. It is not the energy that we use to move our body or to actually do work, but it is the energy that enlivens us. It is the energy that keeps us alive every day. It is the energy that even actually brought um, us to life. So that is the energy that I'm talking about. And this energy works as one and it's very intertwined in its 
um, you know, very much in alignment with one another. And so the chakras, the way they are actually um, talked about is they are actually in the midline all the way from the base of our body all the way to the top of our head. So which means that it is in the center and it actually regulates all the organs and things around that area. So, um, and why is this important? Why do we have to understand about the chakra? Because if you think about it, um, all this time we try to fix a problem physically and many a times it doesn't get fixed. I see lots and lots and lots of women who come with hypothyroidism, for example. And one of the things that I always do with uh, all of my patients is I always check and see if their body is that the problem is coming in their body from the physical plane, from their emotional plane, or from the energetic plane. This is very important to understand because disease as well as health is comprised of all those three things. If it is not really coming from, I mean, it can come from one aspect of it, it can come from two aspects of it, it can come from three aspects of it. And this is important to understand. The reason why is so many people that I see with hypothyroidism, for example, they have been taking medications. They are on levothyroxine or Synthroid, but they don't feel good. Their hair is still falling out, or they actually feel cold still, or they cannot lose weight. They don't have energy. They don't feel like themselves. This is one of the most um, common statements that I hear, that I don't feel like myself. I've never been the same since this. And all of these statements, what essentially means is that the medication can keep their TSH normal, can keep their T3 and T4 normal, but it's not really making their body function optimally. That's what it tells us. So it's very important to understand that. And in many of these cases, I also see that these are people that have been in situations or or in situations where they don't speak their truth. They are not being their authentic self. And then they cannot actually speak their truth or they feel like they are suffocated from speaking their truth or if they do speak their truth they will be uh, punished for speaking their truth many of them suppress that and because our voice comes from here and if we suppress our voice it actually creates a blockage of energy in our throat and because of that somebody could actually develop hypothyroidism i mean it may sound so simple silly even or impossible but that isn't true there are so many things that may seemingly be impossible to you that's not how it is in the real world that's not how our body works so it's really really important to understand this aspect of it and how so many of these different things play into it and another example is uh, root chakra the first chakra so uh, that has to do with relationships with our most closest relatives like our parents siblings so this is the first chakra so it has to do with attachment to things and i have seen so many people who have issues with hemorrhoids or chronic constipation for years i mean to say like 30 40 50 years of constipation even that doesn't seem to be relieved even sometimes with uh, laxatives medications and so on and so forth i mean it'll help but they just don't feel right they just don't feel like it's really um, giving them that hundred percent like they don't feel normal still so the heart um, in many cases I've seen that and I talk to them and I actually find out deeper uh, dig deeper and find out more I realize I hear always that they didn't have a good relationship with their father or their mother or they still don't have a good relationship with their father or their mother and one patient one time told me this that so her father was sexually abusive and um, then he was actually arrested for some other crime and uh, he was um, he was gone pretty much all of her life and uh, so she never really developed a relationship with him and she didn't want to develop a relationship with him but she ended up having digestive issues and reproductive issues pretty much all of her adult life and uh, you know of course the question is oh does it mean that she has to actually go and make up her relationship with the father who actually did that to her no it is to heal ourselves you know with what has happened it is not about the other person it's always about ourselves and what is it that we are holding on to what is the energy that's blocked or what is it that is an excess that's actually contributing to problems and that's what we actually started doing we started working on many of those aspects with her and a lot of those symptoms went away 
which is amazing, you know. And I've seen that happen in a patient of mine where she couldn't get pregnant for so many years because she didn't really have a good relationship with her father. And she didn't have anything going on physically because all of her blood tests, you know, ultrasounds, everything came out normal. And they pretty much told her there's nothing wrong with you. The only thing that you can actually do now is IVF. And she didn't want to do IVF. Instead, uh, you know, she wanted to try the natural route. And when we started working on those aspects of it, that got better. So it's, um, I mean, it might sound like, no, this is oversimplified. How can it be that simple? But it's not simple. I'm not saying it's simple, actually. It is um, understanding and it is healing. And when we understand and we heal, things do get better because that's the only way to be. Our body always wants to heal. And the only thing that it doesn't know to do is how to actually, um, you know, tell you. Or it's trying to tell you and you don't necessarily hear it or understand it. Um, what is happening to it exactly and how you can fix it. And that's what we actually talk about in this chakras course. What are the action plan? What is it that you need to do in order for you to heal from different diseases? What is it that you actually can do so that things don't even appear in the first place? And you can still join the facial diagnosis course if you want to, because that is just such a fascinating thing. And uh, you can actually understand so much about your body. And of course, the chakras course as well. And we are offering that those as standalone because some people probably are not ready for the whole thing and that's okay right you just want to learn about some things like the stories that i told you then you can do that or you can join our naturopathic medicine course it consists of eight modules and it consists of the facial diagnosis which we just completed and even if you enroll for it now you can still watch the video from it and be able to ask questions on the discussion panel and get questions answered and the chakras course which is coming up soon and then we have a whole module about herbs. We have a whole module about homeopathy. We have a whole module about um, energy testing um, and energy medicine, um, rather muscle testing and energy medicine, uh, which is also um, energy testing really. And we also have another module coming up um, about um, marma points. So there's all these exciting things that's coming up. And supplements, there's another one that's about supplements because there are so many supplements out there, isn't it? And we really don't know which ones to take. We don't know whether it's right for us and when do we take which supplement. And there's so much information out there on Google and Dr. Google doesn't necessarily help. So now there's a whole um, module on supplements and as to when it's necessary, is it even necessary? Or is it something that you know is just blown out of proportion? So these are all the different modules in there so that you can truly take control of your health. I believe in um, not feeding you a fish, I believe in you being able to fend for yourself and that is the most important um, thing that we can do right that's the most important thing that i can do for you and that's the reason why we are actually presenting you with these courses now so that you can start taking them and you can do better for yourself without anybody's help and of course you know if you need help we are always there for you but if you can do it yourself that's so empowering that's just something that changes you from within because it actually makes you more confident. It makes you more fearless. It makes you feel more strong. And uh, in today's world where everybody tells us that our bodies are just fragile, waiting for an accident to happen, and our bodies will break with every virus, every bacteria, every fungus, I'm telling you that's not true. I'm telling you that your body is super powerful. And when you understand the rules of your body, and when you follow the rules of your body, and when you learn the signs and symptoms of your body and start um, understanding the ways to find and heal those problems, then you truly will have a powerful body and knowledge is true power. And when you apply that knowledge, it's true empowerment. So I hope you join us in our chakras course or the naturopathic medicine course, or facial diagnosis, any course. You are actually welcome to join us. If you want to get empowered, this is the course for you. If you want to take control of your own health, this is the course for you. If you want to take control of your family's health, this is the course for you. Uh, so uh, starting today, maybe uh, this is a homework for you that uh, would be helpful. Write down the things that you actually notice in your body, right? Different symptoms that you notice in your body. Maybe you notice more constipation. Maybe you notice more issues with your period. Or maybe you uh, notice issues with acid reflux. And maybe you notice issues with heartburn 
or chest pain or difficulty breathing. Maybe you notice issues with throat pain often or strep throat often. And just write down all of these different things and you know, look at the seven chakras and see which chakra could be associated with it and what are the different emotions associated with it and start figuring out and start looking at am I actually experiencing these things? Am I, you know, uh, thinking of thoughts that don't serve me? Am I doing things that don't serve me? Am I um, eating things that don't serve me? And once you start actually looking at it, you're going to be blown away by how your body starts healing by simple things. It really does not take, um, you know, it doesn't take rocket science. It's actually very simple. It's simple, very ancient, but very effective, very healing. So I hope to see you soon. Thank you for joining me on this Chakras course. I'm in Chakras, uh, um, you know, web, um, Facebook Live. And I am, I always look forward to any comments, questions from you. Um, and uh, I will give it a minute to see if you have any questions. And if you don't, then I will conclude this session today. And I will join you the next time soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.